Hello, it is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword Daily Solve. As you can see, this is a largely blank screen in front of you, and that's because I'm not solving today's New York Times crossword. I'm not available today, so I've pre-recorded uh, a number of puzzles, historical New York Times puzzles, to uh, replace the daily puzzle in just this sort of occasion. And uh, I've also pre-recorded this introduction, so um, I am actually not sure which of the puzzles I'm going to be solving in a moment. You'll find out very soon. Uh, but let's get on with it. I will um, I'll forego most of the usual rigmarole. I'll just let you know that there's the new Twitter account at The Daily Solve, and there's the Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash daily solve with all sorts of all sorts of benefits if you're interested in that. And that's that. Let's get on to the puzzle, whatever it may be. Enjoy. At the beginning of each puzzle, I tend to credit the constructor and then point out that the puzzle has been edited, as always, by Will Shorts. But of course, Will Shorts has not always edited the New York Times crossword puzzle. In fact, he has only done so from Sunday, November 21st, 1993 onward. That is the beginning of what tends to be called the Will Shorts era of the New York Times crossword, a, a long era, but one that uh, had a beginning and presumably at some point will have an end. And we're going to explore the beginning of it today. This was a crossword constructed by Peter Gordon, who to this day remains a very prolific New York Times crossword constructor. I think the idea to solve this puzzle came to me because I solved a Peter Gordon puzzle recently, is simply through the daily solve of the New York Times crossword. And I looked him up and I, I realized he's actually quite an accomplished crossword constructor and was responsible for essentially inaugurating the Will Shorts era. So I thought that would be that would be fun to solve someday. And today is the day that I do it. So uh, this is a puzzle entitled Spectral Analysis. It has a title as do all Sunday New York Times crossword puzzles. And that title generally pertains to the theme. So there might be something uh, scientific or dealing with some sort of spectrum or that could be purely metaphorical. We'll just have to find out. But I think this will be fun. I'm very interested to see what this entails. It'll obviously be clued for an audience solving in 1993. So there may be references that assume uh, we are living in the year of this puzzle's release. We'll have to see if that gives me much trouble, but I'm, I'm curious to find out, and I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully, I, 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 uh, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow with the regular Daily Solve. At the time I'm recording this, I have no idea what the circumstances are that will lead to uh, this video being published, but either way, should be interesting, and I hope you have fun. Let's get going. Okay, site of the Shandong Peninsula. Uh, China which doesn't fit. <laughs> so right from the beginning, um, not sure what to put in there. Closer to fine singers. No idea if that is something that is that I should know because it's timeless or if it's particular to the era and I just don't remember or don't know in the first place. Capital near, near Lake Tuz or Tuz, not sure. MasterCard rival. What MasterCard rival would fit in here? There's Visa is the biggest MasterCard rival, and then there's American Express and Discover Card. What other, as far as I'm aware, those are the, only, those are the major credit card processors. I mean, there are a couple others like Electro and things that are actually sort of affiliated with those other ones. JCB, which is Japanese, I think. I don't know. Maybe maybe it means something different than what I'm thinking of. Petrarch works. Could be sonnets. Uh, took it easy. Uh, relaxed. I'm gonna actually try and build off of these crosses. Let's see. They play. They prey on small mammals. Um, probably also ends with an S. Lose control on the road could be skid. So there's something to fill in. What preys on small mammals? I don't know, some kind of snake or... I'm not sure. Boo-boo. 
Mm, not sure. B and B bed and breakfast could be an inn. Hospital workers could be RNs, registered nurses. Pauses, rests, not enough letters. Uh, pauses. Not sure offhand. Floor could be. Uh, I wanted to say stun, which isn't enough letters. What is this? Closer to find singers, right? It probably does end with an S because it was singers, plural. Um, I feel as though this is on the tip of my tongue and I'm not getting there, which is always a very frustrating feeling and one that has become familiar to me doing this series, uh, I must admit. Okay, here we have health club could be a spa. So what did we, oh, we haven't looked here yet. Interminable is nonstop. Floor. Oh, story of a building. Of course, I was couldn't get off of the incorrect sense of the word floor, which I used to point that out. I haven't as often recently. It's very important not to get hung up on a given sense of the word. I was thinking floor as in to awe somebody, to floor them, to really knock their socks off. But nope, this means a story of a building, floor of a building. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Boo-boo. Error. What is this? A boob? What is it? No, I mean, we wouldn't have so many of the same shared letters. What is this? I don't know. I don't know why I'm not seeing that. They prey on small mammals. I mean, is there any way sonnets could be incorrect? We've got those double N's and that T. Doesn't seem like it's wrong. I don't know. I'm going to move on for the time being. What is this? River to the Caspian. Um... Errol, but that's Errol C. Here we have Pitcher Young's and Pitcher Young and namesake Cy Young sounds familiar to me. So size because it was be more than one Cy. More frigid would be icier. Actor in the Maltese Falcon and Casablanca. Well, the most obvious example is Humphrey Bogart, but oh, Sydney Greenstreet. Am I getting that right? No. I'm not sure if I'm on the right track or not with that. TV show about agents Robinson and Scott. I Spy kind of sounds familiar. I've never seen it and I don't really know anything about it, but I think it I think it exists. <laughs> Pauses. Why am I not seeing what this is? I feel as though something's wrong in this area, or I'm just incredibly unobservant at the moment. College party essential could be a keg. Name of 16 popes, Pope Gregory. Nighttime start in poetry is, I think, Ian. Is it sort of poetic evening? Oh, so this does look like Sidney Green. Am I remembering his name? Sidney Green... How many letters in street? Yeah, okay. Maybe there's a rebus. I'm sure this is Sydney Green Street. Absolutely positive. Maybe there is a rebus. If this were green, I mean, it, the rebus could be on street, but that would be the wrong number of letters. So that's why I sort of spelled out street to see if I could test out the number of letters. So if that were green, then we'd want green here. After shower scene. Uh... Oh, maybe after rain showers, something green dealing with nature. Michigan Wolverine cheer, no idea. Go M or something, I don't know. <laughs> Luke was his disciple, Yoda from Star Wars. Kind of lamp. And here we have song also recorded as Harlem Foot Warmers. No clue what that is. Maybe this is Go M. We've got Go in there now. The after shower scene. Um, the reason I was saying Go M is because I figured maybe Michigan M for Michigan Go M or go W for Wolverine, but I think more often the chair would be the school school's name. Um, 
keep looking around. Oh, Polish writer Stanislav Lem, right? I think so. Some MoMA paintings. Uh, MoMA is the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Uh, so it could be Ertes is an uh, Art Deco artist. Kind, I'm kind of going out on a limb there, but with that E and um, this is plural. So the name of the artist is going to have four letters uh, in it because we need that S at the end. Let's see, have we looked at all of these acrosses yet? I don't remember. Some are French cut. French cut what? Some are French cut. It's gonna, a lot of plural in this puzzle. Another S presumably at the end. French cut what? Taters? <laughs> As in French cut potatoes? Could that possibly be true? That seems very weird. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. <laughs> My apologies. Stimpy's buddy, Ren and Stimpy, the cartoon characters. So French cut, I'm sure this is, this is the kind of thing where if you know it, it's screamingly obvious. And if you don't, it's mystifying. Let's stay together, singer. Oh, I can hear that song in my head. Can I? Am I thinking of the right song? I'm not sure. Let's keep going for now. They always have titles. Here's yet another plural. And yes, exploits. Um... I mean, it could be exploits or exploits. It could be exploits, a verb, or exploits, noun. In either case, it's gonna, gonna have an S at the end there. Okay, judo level. Is that a don? First don, second don, is that? Does that happen in judo? Is that what I'm thinking of? Explosive stuff could be TNT. Retson filled mint. A cert, that came up in a puzzle I did a few weeks ago. Old Mideast initials, UAR, um, United Arab Republic, I want to say. Makes as a living could be ekes out, ekes out a living, makes a living. Dessert option, uh, a la mode, which is used generally to refer to um, serving a dessert with ice cream, vanilla ice cream, I think, usually. Took it easy. Probably end with a D. What is this? And here we have commercials, which are ads. That's pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, maybe this, maybe I, maybe I was presumptuous with that Ertes. It came up in a puzzle recently, so sort of on my mind. Summer French cut. Oh boy, this area is now sort of locked off. In other words, I have to solve these things in themselves. Um, I have to solve this area in a self-contained way because no additional uh, fill outside of this area is going to give me any more crosses over here. Could this be Ankara, maybe? Some MoMA paintings. They always have titles. Oh, nobles. Nobles have titles. Noble Nobility. Right? Summer French cut. Oh. Is this green again? Green beans? Oh, and then, yeah, okay. It is, because Let's Stay Together Singer is Al. Okay, it's Al Green. I was thinking of the right song, but I just didn't think there was any way it could fit. And I didn't, um, you know, I didn't, stupidly, I didn't think of the rebus that I already put in here. Okay, so that's green beans. Oh, and then this would be Clay's, Paul Clay, the artist Paul Clay, K-L-E. So there we go. And took it easy as lulled, sort of relaxed. All right. Okay, good. Feeling better about that area now. So got to keep a lookout for more greens. Hull attachment keel, the keel of a ship. Um... Stall of 60 minutes, Leslie Stall, I want to say. Exploits, oh, exploits something or a person uses the thing or the person. There we go. Kind of lamp. Someone's saying that. Senorita across the Pyrenees. Okay, well, that's miss in Spanish. So the French equivalent of that on the other side of the Pyrenees Mountains would be Mademoiselle, abbreviation of which is M-L-L-E. 
kind of lamp. What is this? Why am I not? Wait a second. Ultraviolet. Okay, so it's not green. <laughs> Ultraviolet. <laughs> Um, it's not green, it's colors more broadly. So spectral analysis, it actually does have to do with light. It has to do with the visible light spectrum. Oh, so, okay, so we had more than one green, which may, which is why I thought maybe the, you know, it's just a rebus on green. I'll just have to put green in the puzzle a number of times. But I don't, ah, I get it now. Oh, wow, this is brilliant. I get it, okay. Sorry if you already do, and I and <laughs> you've been waiting for me to. But um, the reason green is in here twice is because this green up here with, that crosses al green and green beans, that's the sort of usage of green in the puzzle. Down here, this green, I mean, obviously it is crossing Sydney Green Street, so it's used in the puzzle. But more, more fundamentally, this 72 across after shower scene, this is the sort of central theme answer. I don't know if you'd call this the revealer necessarily, but it is certainly the clue that ties the whole theme together. And in this case, the after shower scene, after rainfall, you might see a rainbow. An after shower scene is a rainbow, but we're not going to type it rainbow, even though that would actually fit in these seven cells. We're going to enter the rainbow symbolically as the seven colors of the rainbow, which are red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, and wait a second, red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, no, sorry, green, blue, I forgot the order of the, uh, of the colors of the rainbow. Um, and then indigo violet. And I hope that crosses effectively with these clues. So Michigan Wolverine cheer is go blue. Sure, that sounds <laughs> entirely plausible. Not that I would be able to, to uh, confirm or deny personally. Here we have song also recorded as Harlem foot warmers. M Mood indigo. Oh, and Verdi opera is Otello. So that's that's correct. Mood indigo. And then here we have ultraviolet, which I which I was actually the thing that unlocked this theme for me. So here we have bridge situation. Red, is that bridge the card game? Something about the red suits, I don't know. I actually did learn how to play bridge a few years ago, but I don't remember if I have any clue what this is. Curacao ingredient. Curacao is, um, is an orange liqueur. It's used, I think, probably most often in tiki drinks. I think maybe the most classic Application for Curacao is in a Mai Tai, which is a, a, tr a, a good, well-made Mai Tai is a truly exceptional drink. Anyway, I bet orange peel or orange zest is what this is. I don't know which. Um, anyway, less brave, I guess, is yellower. Orange rind, maybe. Let's see, what is this? Lover of Aphrodite. Is that Aries? Yeah, I glanced at that and thought maybe it was Aries, which is where I got the R for rind. But then I wanted to sort of double check. And I think that probably is the case. So bridge situation, red. Uh, that A is doing nothing for me, unfortunately. So a coquette is a flirt. What? Uh, flirty girl? I don't really know what this wants. Um, is there a color that would help here? Flirt. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not seeing it. But flirt. The flirt part must be correct because coquettish is flirty. So oh, bridge situation. Oh no, it's not the card game. Bridge. The bridge of a of a ship. Red alert. I see. Um, bridge situation. I get it. Very clever. Allegiance. Fealty. Uh, loyalty. All right. Fermented. Um, I don't know. Hard, maybe? 
is just sort of you let your, I don't know, your, re your resentments fermented. They hardened. I'm not really sure. Basketball ploy. Not sure. Greek letters. I mean, could be rose. Let's see. It's shocking. A vault. Most colored by the sun. Well, reddest maybe? I'm trying to think of colors. Most colored by the sun. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's too few letters because if I were to put a color in here, I just don't think there's a word that would end up working there. I mean, tannist, can you say that? I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not crazy about that. I'm going to leave that for now. Let's go back to our crosses. Cell stuff could be RNA, molecular level. Kurosawa's King Lear. Oh, is that Ron? Oh, so Coquette is a flirter. Okay, that was more straightforward than I needed it to be. Blank gay, here's the Enola gay, which was, that was one of the planes that dropped one of the atomic bombs, right? I believe on Japan. Poivre's partner, this is pepper in French. So the uh, the partner would be salt, which is cell, S-E-L. It explodes when wet. Hmm. Not sure offhand. Let's check this cross. A tad could be an iota, a very small amount of something. Kirkuk native. Oh, I feel I'm going to know this as soon as I see, I see it, which is not helpful right this moment, but... Uh, We'll get there eventually. Sail place could be a yard. Um, it explodes when wet. What is this? Sod. I don't know. I have to remember to think about the colors that I could have a color revis in any of these answers. Blank magna anagrams appropriately. Ours? Ours is, is art. Does Ars Magna anagram to anagrams? It seems like it would, doesn't it? Yeah. Why is that appropriate? I'm sure there's a clever reason that's very appropriate. <laughs> where to see 72 across. So where to see, oh, maybe this is rainbow. Oh, that's sort of, that's sort of funny because I kind of thought that this in itself was a symbolic representation of rainbow. In other words, I thought the after shower scene was rainbow. So it's sort of odd if rainbow is also more directly an answer to the puzzle, but I suppose it's fair. Here we have it explodes when wet. Oh, does sodium explode when wet? And made an MRI picture imaged. MRI is magnetic resonance imagery. I think it's a form of uh, scan that you undergo. We looked over here yet? Years and years. I oh, know we haven't. Eons. That was pretty straightforward. Fashioned with threads. But there's a question mark. So it's some sort of wordplay or pun. Um, fashion, fastened with threads. Well, it probably ends with ED, doesn't it? Run scoring bunt. Oh, that'll be baseball of some kind. Have we looked here yet? Nap. Petition. Bag, I guess. Teachers organization. NEA, maybe. What is this? Oh, right. I never didn't look back at this. This is Iraqi, I would think, or Kuk native. So what is this? Run scoring bunt. Squeeze? I mean, there aren't very many things that could fit in here, but it could be a wacky sports word that I just have never heard before. But if it's a regular word, it's got to be squeeze, right? The teacher's organization, the NEA, the, that's the National Endowment for the Arts. Is that a teacher's organization? Maybe that also the National Education something? Nap. Oh, nap is doze. Okay, it's got to be squeeze. All right, there we go. Uh, Mao successor, that would be deng, right? Um, fastened with threads. This feels like it should be more obvious. Sorry, I'm just looking, checking my phone real quick. In case this is important. 
No, I don't. Oh, someone's calling me. Never mind. Going to ignore it. Sorry. Okay. Racket could be a din. Loud noise. One fifth of MMV. So this is a year in Roman numerals. Um, so that would be what? 2005. So one fifth of that would be 1001. No, sorry. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I'm going, I'm going mad. Well, it, it's obviously the end is obviously one. So sorry. So it's 2005 and one fifth of that would be 401. So C, D, I, right? Because D is 500, C is 100. So we're subtracting that from the 500 and then adding one. Okay, I believe that's correct. Fastened with threads. Oh, I see screwed, as in threading on a screw. There we go. Blank tin tin, rin tin tin, a, a dog, I think, from a classic film series or television series or something, or books maybe. Self-effacing people. Probably ends with an S. <laughs> Vonnegut's, Vonnegut's The uh, Blank of Titan. That's The Sirens of Titan, a novel by Kurt Vonnegut. Despondency. Feels as though that could probably be a few things. Fluttering trees. Maybe aspens. Letter opener. Not sure. Family girl could be sis as in sister. Blank dash mutuel. And that's spelled in a French manner. Not sure what phrase that's getting at, just offhand. Hugh Hefner prop. Robe? Didn't he always wear a bathrobe? I mean, Aspens could be wrong. I don't think I have enough going on with the crosses to be confident about Aspens yet, but I'm also not very confident about robes, so I'm not going to put that in either. Louisville slugger material. Uh, this would be a wood. I think a Louisville slugger is a baseball bat. I don't remember what wood they're made out of. Ash, elm, those would both fit. Actually, if it were ash, that could cross with Aspens. Despondency. Oh, could there be blue something? Blue, you're sad, you're blue. I haven't gotten very many additional colors. I hope I haven't squeezed anything into a place that <laughs> I haven't squeezed any answers somewhere they shouldn't because I'm missing a color. Oh, right. So the Hugh Hefner, that wouldn't be robe then. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what, what else Hugh Hefner did other than wear a robe. Sock sorter. Not sure. Oh, letter opener. Could be sirs, as in dear sirs. Um, because whatever this is, socks order could end in ER, something that does something. A shoe coverer. Um, shoe coverer. I'm not sure. All right, let's get out of this area. I don't feel it's doing me a lot of favors at this point. Springy. Not sure of hand. Douglas, for example, it could be a Douglas fir, a kind of tree. Springy. What is this? Tantalus's daughter. Niobe, maybe? Is that right? Name of two English kings. Two English kings. So probably be more obvious with a, another cross or two. Algiers's old quarter. Is it a neighborhood in Algiers? Not sure. Negatively charged atoms. It's going to end with ons, probably. Um, not sure offhand. Hopefully, hopefully a little more obvious with some crosses. What is the oh? Could springy mean of spring as opposed to like uh, the season spring as opposed to elastic, vernal maybe? And then what is this bit? Could it be a sot? Mm, one single sot? That sort of sounds like something, but I'm not really sure. Algiers' old quarter, right? Don't know. Negatively charged atoms, not really sure. King's superior. King's superior. I'm not really sure what this. Not really sure what this is getting at. God? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Um. Perch, for example. 
a fish. Perch is a kind of fish. Sea fish? I I'm not, I'm not, don't know enough. I hear you to a CB operator. Oh, sorry. It just occurred to me that the English king's Ethelred, as in Ethelred the Unready. So red could go in here. And I think usually it's spelled with the sort of A-E character. That's always how I've seen it spelled. So I don't know what it would be. I don't know if it would you'd use an E or an A. I think... I think A maybe Athelred looks more more correct than that to me. I'm not really sure. King Superior. Oh boy. I don't know. Actor Pendleton. I have no clue. Uh-oh, this could be a dangerous area down here. Oh, maybe the Casbah, Algiers Old Corner. Oh, and then bit is shred. Not one shred, not one bit. Yes, that sounds correct. Actor Pendleton. Cat Pendleton. Nat Pendleton. Oh, negatively charged atoms, anions, I think, actually. A-N-I-O-N-S, anions. So King's Superior. Oh, Ace, Ace, the uh, King the Face card. Very, that's very clever. And so it is Ethelred with an E. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't, I'm glad I didn't go with my gut on that one. It would have made it more difficult to solve that cross, probably. Okay, so most colored by the sun. I mean, with that Niobe, it could be Tannist. Is a perch a sunfish? I think sunfish are very, they're these really big, big gross, sort of ugly looking fishes. Is that what a perch is? Coach, Parsegian, I don't know. Socks, e.g. Ah, I bet in 1993, I suspect this would be a cat. I think Bill Clinton, President Bill Clinton's cat was named Socks. I don't know about sunfish. I don't think that I don't think a perch is a sunfish. I think a perch is sort of very typical looking fish. I don't think it looks like a sunfish. Um, all right. Oh, blank pronobis. Aura pro. I want to say aura pronobis. I hear you to a CB operator. Ah, copy. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> We've got coach Parsegian, which I don't know, and perch, for example, which I also don't know. Panfish. It'll be panfish or pinfish because this name will be either Ara or Ari. Panfish sounds more plausible to me than pinfish. I'm gonna leave it blank just for this time being and maybe get back to it. Okay, Josh could be kid to Josh somebody to kid them. Rural roots. Eh, don't know enough to be confident about that. Self-effacing people. Um, I don't know. Sorry about that. Uneasy. Could be antsy, maybe. Basketball ploy. A screen? No idea if that's a basketball term. Cruel. Ah, okay. Yeah, it could end with IC. Tanzanian coins. Not sure. Toxic defoliant. Oh, could it be Agent Orange? I think as infamously used in the Vietnam War, I believe. Novel that features the language NADSAT. Oh, that's a Clockwork Orange. Um, that's the sort of um, strange slang that uh, Anthony Burgess created for the characters in A Clockwork Orange as adapted to film by Stanley Kubrick. Average grade would be a C. Orson's Planet in 70s TV. Not sure offhand. Bud eventually. Bud eventually. A leaf. No? Seems a little tenuous. A boo-boo. Oh, a boo-boo is a goof. So maybe that is leaf. So here we have closer to fine singers. Oh. So this will probably be... Ah. Pauses. Wait. I was going to say that's let's up, but that doesn't work. Oh, no, it does. Wait a second. Oh, let ups. I see. Pauses. Let ups. Is that? I've never heard that. Oh, the Earl. Oh, because there's the Earl Mountains. So there must be a river as well. Okay. Yeah. Let ups. That 
I guess you could say it that way. There was a let up. I don't know. I buy it, but I only just barely. <laughs> anyway, the thing that occurred to me is that these girls are going to be have some color associated with them, and it's the name of a group. So what would it be? What have we not used? We've got we've used orange, red, and green. So this could be oh oh indigo girls. That's a group. So what would this be? They play on small mammals. They play on small mammals. Indig. I don't know what that is. Um. Oh, indigo snakes? Is that a Boy, this is tough because if this isn't indigo girls, I mean, it could be basically any color and both crosses would work perfectly fine <laughs> because they're both just colors that, you know, are plausible if you don't actually know what they are, which I don't. Okay, bud eventually, right, so it must be a leaf. Before to Byron would be air. Um, before, in a, that's before in a poetic way that uh, so Byron, Lord Byron poet might have used. Orson's Planet in 70s TV, Orc. Oh, maybe that's... Is that Mork and Mindy? Is that what that is? That sort of old TV show that I vaguely have some memory of? Okay, so Grill. Not sure. Salon Works. Oh, Dues, Hair Dues. Draft organization. Oh, uh, this is specific to the United States. This is, I, I bet this is, I think SSS, the Selective Service, no, SSA, Selective Service. Uh, it's the organization that um, men in the U.S. have to register with at age 18 in case there's a draft. Selective Service. Don't remember what the third letter is. What is this? Department of the Treasury Division. It's a division of treasury. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to just keep looking around. Cruel. I keep thinking pedantic, but that doesn't mean cruel. <laughs> um, sorry, this is probably apparent to many of you. Let's just keep looking around. Trinkets. Oh. I think there's an archaic term for trinkets, gugaz. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, I believe that's how it's spelled. Uh, to wilt is to sag. Grill. Oh, ask as in questions. Oh, and cruel is sadistic. There we go. Okay, perfect. Department of the Treasury. Oh, huh. Could it be dividend rather than division? Could it be an IRA? An individual retirement account? I don't know. That I don't quite get how that fits the clue, but it seems sort of plausible, and I'm probably just missing, misreading it or, or misinterpreting it somehow. Okay, table, li table linen often. Oh, damask linen. Soldiers. War men. <laughs> Is that a phrase? War men? Soldiers? I don't know. Maybe. Bird blank wire. Bird on a wire. Surely. I don't know what that's referring to specifically, but it sounds plausible. To incense is to enrage somebody. Uh, Tanzanian coins, I'm not sure. Here we have gold. Blank gold. Oh, good as gold. So here we have 1968 to 75 Norris Trophy winner. I'm sure that's a sports thing. Good as gold centi to Tanzanian coins. Hopefully that's correct. Um, here we have horned vipers. Asps, maybe? Silkwood portrayer? Not sure. Um, blank Kleine Nachtmusik. Eine Kleine Nachtmusik. That's a very famous piece of music by Mozart. Dougie Hauser's organization. Dougie Hauser was a television... Um, Doctor, medical doctor. Would it be the American Medical Association? Site of the Shandong Peninsula. Oh, Black Sea, Black Sea. Yes, that is near China. And that explains why I was confused about it as the first, as my first exposure to this uh, grid. Okay, Silkwood Portrayer. I have, I have absolutely no clue what that's referring to in the slightest, unfortunately. 
it might have the heading vacuum van. Vacuum van. What does that mean? It might have the heading vacuum van. Black. It is the Black Sea, right? What am I? Vacuum van. What does this mean? <laughs> I have not the slightest idea what this is referring to. Boy, I don't know. MasterCard rival, right, right. What is this? Don't know. Swami routine of the old Tonight Show. This would be Johnny Carson. Karnak sort of rings a bell. Central Florida City, I'm not sure. Silkwood Betrayal, oh God, just no idea. The African crate, sorry, the African Queen script writer. Do not know who wrote The African Queen. Was that Howard Hawks directed The African Queen? Who would have written it? It might not have been Howard Hawks. John Ford, maybe, directed it? In any case, it's not helping me with the screenwriter, is it? 1961 Pulitzer winning author. Uh-oh. This is a this is a tough corner for me over here, it seems. All right, let's let's say that is Karnak. Silkwood portrayer. Oh right, right. This was the indigo thing. May or or maybe, I don't even know. It might not be. Central Florida City. Oh boy. Um, who, what authors have three letters in their names? Uh, Anais Nin? I don't know. Oof. I'm gonna have to move on for now. Hopefully, hopefully something comes back and inspiration strikes later. Army attack helicopter. Is there a Cobra attack helicopter, maybe? Oops, that was wrong. Nora Helmer's creator, I don't even know who that is. Intellectuals, could that be the literati, maybe? Yeah, that looks, that looks right. Oh, um, Ibsen, Henrik Ibsen, the playwright. Anxiety, glass ingredient, sand. Thai. Boy, I feel as though that could be <laughs> several different meanings of the word tie and several possible fills. Make a big effort could be to strain or to strive, actually. Could be either of those. And strive looks much better with the crosses. Anxiety, tie, oh, even something. Oh, even up. If you maybe as a verb, tie as a verb. Edison, e.g., abbreviation. Inventor? Thomas Edison? Oh, anxiety is nerves. There we go. Okay, that looks right. This is a much more fruitful corner, certainly, so far anyway. Doctor could be a healer. Uh, Self-effacing people. Flight board abbreviation. No. Oh, oh. Uh, ARR for arrivals, abbreviation for arrivals. That looks right. Self-effacing people. What is this? This feels like it, with all these crosses, this should be pretty clear. And yet it's not somehow. My apologies. Imitate could be to ape, to uh, mimic. Actress Zadora. Pia looks plausible as a name there. Kind of rings a bell, but I'm not really certain. Self-effacing people. Why on earth am I still not seeing this? Lures into wrong, wrongdoing is in traps. Glass ingredient. Oh, silica. Oh, I haven't looked at this yet. Ca kind of ball or card, a cue ball. Yeah, okay, cue card or cue ball. That's that's pretty straightforward. Um, oh, oh, shrinking violets. That's why I wasn't seeing it because it needs this rebus, rebus answer. A shrinking violet. Someone who's self-effacing. I suppose so. Yeah, I guess you could put it that way. 
1986 Spacek Klein flick. Violet. No idea. I don't think I know this film. Okay, let's see. What is this? Oh, Josh is indeed kids. There we go. Rural, rural Roots Roads? Is, that, is there anything particularly rural about roads? Not really sure. Shoe Coverer. Um, I'm not sure. A Sock Sorter, also not sure. Still Despondency. Should bear in mind that I've not used all, have I used all the colors yet? Okay, let's see. So we need red, orange, yellow, gr green, blue, indigo, violet. So we've got, oh wait. No, sorry, black is, ah, <laughs> sorry. Black isn't even in here. I am, sorry, you must have been going absolutely nuts with this earlier. So what is this? Red Sea, is that the site of the Shandong Peninsula? Yeah, sorry, I was I was completely mixed up geographically. That was that's incredibly embarrassing in retrospect. Um, boy, this is uh, it must no no. Good lord, the Yellow Sea. Ah, yes, I uh, I apologize. <laughs> That's, that's all incredibly embarrassing. Oh well, this, so, such are the such are the dangers of doing these as video solves. Uh, you end up looking like a fool sometimes, and that's just part of the uh, price of doing business here. Okay, so it might have the heading vacuum band. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> I don't think I don't think recognizing my mistake is in any way helpful uh, for solving the rest of this area. Vacuum van, yellow. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. This is definitely something that's much more suited to 1993 than, than 2021. The Yellow Pages, direct phone book, the phone book directory. So this might, uh, you might have a section alphabetically that goes from sort of vacuum services to van because van comes after vacuum uh, alphabetically, or maybe vacuum van is a type of business for people who will show up at your house with a vacuum in a van, I guess. Oh, MasterCard rival Optima. That sort of sounds familiar, actually, now that I see it. Silkwood portrayer, Meryl Streep, played Silkwood. I actually don't know what that character is. The African Queen, oh, African Queen screen scriptwriter, um, uh, Agi, A -G, I don't remember how to pronounce his name, but he was a he was a playwright and screenwriter. Central Florida City, uh, oh, Pulitzer winning author Harper Lee, I bet, L-E-E. -E. I don't know the city of Ocala, but that seems plausible. Okay, great. Good. Finally cleared out that area. That's a huge relief. So let's see. Sock sorter. I'm really sorry about that whole yellow seed, black seed thing. Black seed is obviously completely incorrect. What was I thinking of? I don't know what I, I don't know how I was mixing that up. Um, anyway, woof feel a little bit silly. So let's move on. Right. So the whole reason I got started on that whole uh, bit was because I wanted to see if I've, how many of colors remain. So red, have we used red? Yes. Orange, have we used orange? Yes. Yellow, yes, finally. Green, yes. Blue, no. No, maybe not. Indigo, I think so. And violet, yes. So I think indigo's up here, which means blue, presumably, will be down here somewhere. I guess this could be violets rather than violet, and then a word starting with S. It could be a possessive violets something. Boy, where does the blue go? Can't possibly be here. Um, despondency. That was the thing that did make me 
think it must be blue, but I don't really. Uh, oh, the the blues. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, great. And then that boy, that was a that was a good hiding place because I have no idea what this um, film is. So yeah, so violet. Something blue. Yeah, I don't know. Hugh Hefner prop cape. Did Hugh Hefner wear a cape? I haven't the slightest idea. It doesn't look very good with those double A's. A rope? I don't know what. I don't know what this mutuelle is. Shoe coverer. Oh, a spat. Spats. Um somewhat archaic at this point, form of formal wear. So a sock sorter. Oh boy, what, I'm stuck again here. I thought I made a big breakthrough, but it, it's not really uh, closing things out for me, unfortunately. Oh. Violets are blue, as in uh, roses are red, violets are blue. Oh, a socks or a pairer, you pair socks together. Oh, a pipe, did he smoke a pipe? Who knows? Uh, okay, Pari Mutual, I actually don't know what that is, but that's fine. So closer to fine singers must be, that must be the Indigo Girls, which is what I thought, but I wasn't really sure. No? Oh, I didn't, all right. I didn't ever fill in this last um, cell, which I, suspect this is panfish, and I don't actually know what a panfish is, but no, no. Okay, let's see. I suppose, I mean, it could be, it could be this, but it could be something else as well. Maybe I'll check my colors. Agent Orange, Yellow Sea, Indigo Girls, Green Beans, boy. I don't know how I'm gonna figure out what I've done wrong here. Agent Orange, a Clockwork Orange, that looks right. Um, where else? Violet. This, this stuff does look okay over here. The Blues, Ethel Red, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Maybe Karnak isn't spelled with a K. Actually, this does look more correct, but I obviously still have something else wrong. I guess I'll just, I'm just gonna have to go through the puzzle. I'm sorry about this. Boy, what a, what a, what a sad end. Karnak nonstop, green beans, a leaf, or all lamb. I won't keep muttering, that's probably irritating. That's how you spell Dawn, isn't it? I think so. Is this Gigas? No, War, War Men must be correct. I mean, this looks odd, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. A poetic contraction of evening, I believe. Atello. Ibsen, I-B-S-E-N, I'm pretty confident about that. This IRA, I was not at all confident about this. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. I know what this is. It's the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, which is of course the Department of the Treasury, it must be. There we go, okay, sorry about that. Big embarrassing delay at the end. Sorry about my, my, my two slightly embarrassing situations around uh, the obviously incorrect Black Sea, Yellow Sea, and then I guess Karnak, I did have it wrong in the first place. Um, you know, what's funny is when I first, well, actually, I guess I can't type in over this because now it's been solved. I thought maybe originally it was double Ks, but obviously that didn't work with Clockwork Orange. So for some reason, I still just wanted to get a K in there, which that's a tough, that is a really tough fill. Um, because once I got the C, I, I think I've seen the name of this city before, but it's definitely not one with which I'm very familiar. So that's a pretty tough 
cross. It probably was less difficult in 1993 when when uh, Johnny Carson's Tonight Show would have been, you know, more more recent. Anyway, really fun puzzle. I'm re I love this theme. I'm really. Um, what was it that turned me on to it? It was, I think, Sydney Greenstreet really, that was, kind of gave me an inkling, but it was, was it Green Beans, I think, that locked it in? I think it was those two. And it's funny that my first two uh, Rebus fills were both greens. So it actually, it, it meant I thought there, there was just a theme around green for the theme rather than the whole rainbow, which... Uh, what was it? Ultraviolet, I think, was the thing that turned me on to that. And it was incredibly pleasing to figure out the um, the seven colors of the rainbow all working together in this one answer to symbolically construct the rainbow. That was that was incredibly it's an incredibly clever bit of crossword construction, and I was very pleased with myself when I got it, which helps me at least somewhat counterbalance the uh, embarrassment of my other grievous mistakes on this solve. Uh, that was really fun. What a, what an impressive puzzle to kick off the Will Shorts era. I, uh, I really enjoyed it. I really liked that, the spectral analysis rainbow theme. I think it's, I think it was very well done. I like the ability to get two colors into a single answer with violets are blue, which again, would have been a much easier solve in 1993 when this film was within you know, the previous decade. Um, and I've, I've never heard of it, but, uh, got there eventually. Ethelred is very funny. I really enjoyed that as a fill using the color red. Um, yeah, good, good. And Peter Gordon is, uh, the reason I ended up, uh, finding, coming across this puzzle is because I, um, I was solving a puzzle by him a couple weeks ago, maybe, and I don't know why, but I looked him up because I think I recognized his name. And it turns out he's a very prolific solver. And I saw, oh, he he actually constructed the very first Will Shorts Arrow puzzle. And that made me think, oh, maybe I, maybe that would be fun to solve. And it was. I'm glad I did it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Boy, that was a long solve. Look at that. 51 minutes, just about. Thanks for sticking with it, if you have. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel. You'll see these videos as they go up each morning. If you're new to the channel, this is typically, I typically solve the New York Times puzzle that's published the day the video is released. And that wasn't the case today because uh, my life didn't allow me to do so. So this pre-recorded video will have to suffice and I hope you had fun. If you do enjoy this channel and you'd like to help contribute to its ongoing sustainability, please do head over to my Patreon campaign, which can be found at patreon.com slash daily solve, which is linked in the description field underneath each video. And I don't know what's been, I have no idea what has gone up there most recently at the time of this video's release, uh, but probably some kind of fun bonus content and access, uh, special access uh, to the daily solve discord server and uh, recognition at the end of these videos. And I actually, I don't know who is due to be recognized on today's uh, video because I don't know who, <laughs> I don't have an access to the list of Patreon backers from the future, but I do. Uh, hello again. It is I, the slightly differently temporally displaced version of myself from the beginning of the video. I do have the list of people to thank, and today I would like to thank Jake Rodkin, as well as the inestimable Hood Monster and the incomparable Shantanu Bhatia. So thank you so much, Jake, Hood Monster, and Shantanu, for your ongoing support. I very much appreciate it. And with that, Let's draw this substitute video to an end. I hope you enjoyed this historical artifact from the New York Times archives. I'll be back tomorrow, either with another replacement puzzle or with the daily crossword. I'm not sure just yet, but either way, I hope you join me. And until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your day. Take care.